Right, hello. So second vid for the second lesson. I think I've got a five minute time on it, so I've got to be careful. Right, so this is a disguised quadratic. It is of the form a, the coefficient, times by something squared plus b times something plus c. So what you're looking at is the power on the something being doubled. So if you look, this power has been doubled. If the power's been doubled, it's a disguised quadratic. So I can see it as x squared, all squared, minus 4, lots of x squared, minus 5 is equal to 0. And what I'm saying is that my something is x squared. Now what the completed pack does, it replaces the x squared with another letter. They use y, and they'll go through it, and so they'll do it as, so they'll say, that that's y equals x squared. They'll say, let me change colour. So they'll say, it's a y squared minus 4y minus 5 is 0. Put it into poly, 1 minus 4 minus 5 into poly and you get out 5 or minus 1. So you get 5 and you get minus 1. So you've got y equals there. And then I change it back. So my y is x squared. So when I change it back, I get x squared is 5 and x squared is minus 1. Now then, if you're happy to spot that it's something squared with a number times something minus 5, you can jump, you can put it into poly, the 1, the 4, and the minus 5, the coefficients. You can do that directly, and you can jump from there to there without the bit in red, if you can spot it. Right, so if I square root it, x is a plus or minus root 5. Here, if I square root it, I get no solution for this one, because I can't square root it. It's not a real solution. So let's have a look, see, look this, look, see how it's doubled. So here's, here's how they've done it with the y is x cubed. So I would have spotted that as being x cubed squared minus 7 lots of x squared, uh, x cubed, sorry, plus 12 is 0. It's in the form of a quadratic because the power there is doubled. So I would have just done poly for 1. Minus 7, 12. That would have given me 4 and 3 out. And I've just got to put the something, which is the x cubed. So the something is the x cubed at the front. So that's how I would do it. Once you spot it, you can leap your way through it. Uh, let's have a look at this one, this next example. So that power there is doubled. So it's a little bit backwards, this. So I'm just going to move everything over to the other side. So I've got x to the power 2 thirds minus 5x to the power a third plus 4 is equal to 0. So what I'm saying is, is that x to the third is my something minus 5 lots of x to the third is my something plus 4 is 0. So I'm going to put in poly one lot of minus 5 lots of and 4 and that will give me uh, where are we that's going to give me a 4 in poly and it's going to give me a 1 in poly but I've got to remember my something is x to the power a third x to the power a third so I want to cube it so 4 cubed 64, 1 cubed, 1 there. So if you can spot it, that the power is double, the power is doubled, it's a disguised quadratic. So there's another one here to have a look at. There, so they said y is, that's a, oh, hello. <laughs> the lights have gone off. Hang on, somebody was wandering around the room to get it on. So this one would be a power 1 here. And if you look, the power is doubled. So if I rewrite it as x to the power 1 minus 13, x to the power a half, plus 36 is 0. I'm